All right, so this is uh, day four of the my maggot experiment. As you can see, there are hundreds and of thousands of maggots in here. There's a big one right there. It already matured, but um, this entire white mass goes across like a bridge through the bottom of the jar, and there's just thousands of maggots in here from every single uh, genus and species. But um, there's even more over here. And as you can see, this uh, this white this white uh, mass right here, those are the uh, egg casings of uh, different flies of the maggots that have hatched. But um, yeah, you can just look at all all the different ones. I just got bit by a horsefly, so if the camera is I keep if I keep jerking the camera back, that's why, because I'm getting I'm getting I'm a lot more cautious, because that when you get bit by a horsefly, that's not the most good feeling thing it's just it hurts a it hurts they're very painful to be bitten by uh, it hurts a lot more than a bee sting or a wasp sting but um yeah those are the maggots but uh okay um all the flies that i can identify that i have all the flies that are buzzing around see there's one right there it's pretty huge you can't really see it on the camera but there's a lot more flies in in there i put a paper towel on the top with a rubber band so that um no more flies can get in yeah, I know the flies. These flies that are in there will probably die, but um, I'm gonna leave this this uh, paper towel on top of it for another day or two. And if they're still alive, I'll let them out because I just I, or now I just really want maggots in there. But um, I'm running out of time on my camera, so I'm gonna end the video. And in the description box, I'm gonna put uh, all the different species of flies that I found. Oh, and right here you can see all the tunnels tunnels that they've dug. But uh, bye.